just a simple man working on the land. Hey guys, Urban Gotham Prepper here. Uh, I wanted to do this quick segment today on, as you can see, gloves. Um, I uh, as I've been working on my kit, um, I've been spending some time uh, going over the concept of uh, how to, you know, uh, protection and how to protect yourself. I bought uh, um, some protective type items to keep in my kit, um, like goggles and knee pads, things like that. And uh, I was thinking about hands and how to protect your hands very well. And, and you know, I see in the kits a lot. Guys have, uh, you know, people have regular utility gloves, work gloves, mechanics gloves, um, you know, your regular $10 Home Depot, you know, leather work gloves. Um, you know, for being out, whether you're bushcrafting, whether it's survival stuff, um, hiking, camping, whatever it is, um, just to kind of, you know, protect your hands, you know, nicks, cuts, scrapes, things like that. Um, but I decided I wanted to take it one step further, and I started thinking about, you know, different things that gloves can do for you. Um, and having been uh, a firefighter in uh, previous life, I, uh, um, I knew quite a bit about um, you know fire resistant and heat resistant gloves. And so I started looking at uh, different gloves that can provide more than just a function of covering your hands. Um, so I started thinking of some of the different components that I wanted. And uh, you know, a, a lot of times with um, uh, with gloves, most guys want leather gloves. Um, leather is, you know, it, it's it, it works really well for uh, for protecting your hands. It forms well when you break it in. After a while, they just they they, they feel very comfortable. They sit well um, on your hands. Um, so I wanted something that was leather. Um, and being that these gloves are probably more likely than not going to have to be used in any season imaginable, um, I also wanted something that was waterproof. Um, so, you know, finding leather gloves that are waterproofed, um, they're out there, they exist, they're not as common. Um, and with waterproofing, usually comes uh, windproofing um, for really colder weather. It depends on what materials are used to waterproof the gloves. Um, and then, uh, you know, being that this was going to be something, you know, what are the tools that you're using a lot when you're out um, in the woods, whether it's a survival situation, hiking, camping, whatever it might be, bushcraft... Um, you're going to be using a really nice knife that you, you've probably spent a lot of time sharpening to a razor fine edge. So I really wanted something that had good cut resistance to it. Um, and cut resistance uh, you can find in specialty type gloves like for police um, and first responders and things like that um, have, will have, uh, have cut resistant ratings on them uh, for their protection and things like that. Um, and then finally, you know, I wanted gloves that I could use for, um, to protect myself in the other instances, um, that you're going to frequently find yourself in when you're using like campfires, cooking, things like that. And that's, um, flame and or heat resistance, uh, flame resistant gloves, heat resistant gloves, things like that, um, I think would be incredibly beneficial to, um, you know, to being out when you're working around campfires, um, cooking, stuff like that. Just that added extra assurance and, you know, assurance in knowing that you're not going to get that, that quick little burn from having, you know, reached out and, you know, you thought the handle of the pot was, was cool enough to touch and it wasn't. And now you've got this tiny little, you know, maybe first or second degree burn on your index finger, but when you're out, in the wilderness, that one tiny little burn, even if it doesn't blister, can be so annoying and so incapacitating for you. Um, and to have prevented it just for, um, you know, not for the, you know, just because you didn't have the right gloves on uh, would seem kind of stupid to me. Um, and I also wanted something, you know, a um, little more luxurious uh, with a longer gauntlet um, to protect, you know, up to, you know, up, up the wrists a little bit, you know, something that was better. So, I had been carrying around some gloves for a while that were like, you know, your $5 Walmart specials. And then I started looking around online. I started looking for all these things. And, and I'm going to show you right now what I came up with. Um, and this is, uh, I think these are fantastic gloves. These are, these are right here. Uh, these are from Youngstown Glove Company. Um, they are 
they're called their FR waterproof leather utility gloves. Um, they're pretty good. They're um, you know not really fond of the the kind of uh, brighter natural color. I wish I could have found something like a black or a gray or something, but whatever. Um, they quite obviously have a, um, have a longer gauntlet on it, you know, like almost a four inch gauntlet. Um, I obviously have not used these yet. They're pretty much fresh out of the bag. But, uh, um, you know, I've had them on, and um, I think these are going to break in pretty well for what's in them. They're, they're, they have, like, three liners. There's obviously the, the leather is uh, uh, goat skin leather. Um, it's pretty nice, uh, pretty supple, even right out of the box. I mean, usually, you know, leather gloves require a good amount of breaking in and, and use before they really you know, feel good. Um, they're pretty supple. They're not very rigid for brand new gloves. Um, the, uh, second liner is a, uh, polyurethane, um, a complete liner polyurethane, which makes them, um, waterproof and windproof. Um, you know, these aren't like scuba, scuba diving gloves, but, you know, if it's raining out, if you got to dunk your hands in a creek, if you're washing dishes or whatever, you're, you know, picking up rocks, whatever, they're, you know, they're not going to soak through. Um, and the inside liner, if you can see this here, yellow, people who know gloves pretty well know that the yellow is the uh, classic and cliche Kevlar. This is a 100% Kevlar lining on the inside, um, which will help provide the flame resistance, the arc resistance. It uh, actually helps keep very warm. It's actually a pretty damn good insulator um, and also provides the cut resistance past the leather and the polyurethane. Um, you know, and you've got, you know, I mean, I'm looking at cut resistance. I'm not looking at, uh, you know, defending myself if somebody comes after me with a razor blade. But, um, you know, uh, sharp rocks, um, you know, scouting for firewood and, you know, just picking up firewood and you get caught on a knot or, um, you know, something like that. At least it'll, you know, it'll give you some cut resistance. Um, you know, and these are utility gloves. So they're made, you know, in the standard wear points along the saddle. There's doubling up on the palm. The fingertips are doubled. There's a little bit of a knuckle guard here. Um... So this really actually kind of meets all of these criteria. They're leather, they're waterproof. You, know, you can see here it says they're waterproof. Windproof comes kind of comes with it. Um, the cut resistance, um, it's mild cut resistance, but uh, it actually does meet um, ANSI level two um, cut resistance criteria. Um, the flame and heat resistance, um, the uh, as per the uh, ASTM F2302 um, guidelines, uh, I can't find what the actual rating is, but it says that it meets the ASTM D6413. This is on their website. Um, I tried looking it up and finding it, but they kind of make you pay for that information, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but uh, it, it does meet um, some <clears throat> some level of flame resistance. These are not firefighting gloves. You know, you, you're not going to reach into your fire. But I wanted something where, um, you know, if I needed to just reach in and, um, you know, you know, shuffle some, you know, shuffle some of my bigger fuel logs around on the bottom, um, or poke around a little bit, or, you know, maybe I'm reaching in, maybe I want to do, um, maybe I want to grab, uh, you know, I'm doing heat stones for, a, um, for a water boil or something like that. This will give me enough of a, of a quick flame resistance to reach in and grab a stone, take it out and put it on the ground. Um, I'm not going to play, you know, you kind of hot potato is just enough. Um, you know, grabbing pots and stoves, you know, pots off, um, you know, off of a, a grill on top of the fire or something that's in the fire. If I'm boiling water in my guy at designs bottle or something like that, it's enough that I can probably just grab the bottle, put it out, you know, take it out of the fire and put it down on the ground. It's just enough for that kind of protection. Um, and these things are really designed for, um, people who are doing like, a like electrical work. Um, the biggest rating it has on here is, uh, let's see if we can, uh, get this to focus in here. Um, but the, I don't know if you can see that, but the arc rating, um, 50 cal per cubic centimeter or square centimeter. Um, they're designed for arc rating for like welders, um, people who are working like in electrical fields. Um, that's what traditionally, um, these things are rated for, um, and you'll see in here it also lists that it's uh, NFPA 70E compliant. Um, the 70E series and the NFPA ratings are for um, electrical fires. Now, Youngstown does make one model that's a little more badass than this. It's basically it's the same thing. It's called the Youngstown's FR Waterproof Ultimate Leather Utility Glove, something or other, um, which is essentially this glove a little bit shorter gauntlet and they've 
taking exactly the same glove, but they've also added a layer of Nomex to it. Um, Nomex is the other, um, the other f uh, synthetic fabric designed by DuPont um, that is uh, classically used in firefighting. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had a little interruption there uh, that I needed to cut away from. So back to what we were talking about. Uh, you know, these are, uh, um, so this is like the, the second highest, what I would consider like their second um, highest all-encompassing um, protection type glove. Uh, like I said, they do have that one. It's the FR Waterproof Ultimate line with Kevlar, um, but it also just has that extra Nomex layer that really makes, makes it that much more heat resistant. Um, <clears throat> now, these gloves are obviously not that cheap, as you can imagine. Um, you know, you can get your standard, um, your standard leather gloves um, for, you know, 10, 15 bucks um, at like a Home Depot. I ordered these online uh, through Amazon, and they were um, just a hair under $60. Um, they list on Youngstown site for $70 is their MSRP and those ultimate gloves um, Another reason why I didn't go for them is they list for 125 bucks. So you're really getting up there um, But you also have to weigh the fact that at the end of the day. Do you want to damage these when these are going to be your? primary most important tool that you have um, You know Take into consideration, maybe it's worth spending the money. And, you know, people who wear work gloves for a living um, and work with their hands and have good leather, uh, especially like a good goat skin, know that, you know, the gloves worn on a daily basis can last you quite an incredibly long time. So, um, just wanted to show this off real quick. Um, hopefully, I'll get a chance to use them on the summer when I start going out more. But again, this is the uh, Youngstown Glove Company, um, the waterproof, you know, this is the fire rated, the HRC4 rating. Um, and uh, they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty damn good gloves, um, even just, you know, trying them on out of the box. Um, and if you're looking, you know, and you don't want to spend as much money, uh, go on to Youngstown Glove Company's website. Uh, I think it's ytgloves.com um, and rifle through some of the stuff they got. I, I think they're, uh, you know, not that I'm promoting Youngstown Gloves, but um, multi-use, multi-function, things that apply to the world of prepping, uh, bushcraft, hiking, camping, things like that. Uh, I think their gloves really fit the bill in a lot of the things that um, this community likes to do. So take a look. Um, hope you like it. And uh, I'll throw up a link to a couple of YouTube videos in the end. Guys, stay safe out there. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments and uh, subscribe and share. Thanks again. Bye.